Hey guys, this is Klazart bringing an audio commentary, and this is Game 2 of the Ever OSL Finals 2009-2010 season between Flash and Movie. And this is going to be on El Nino. Flash in the lead after a comprehensive victory, in my opinion, in Game 1. It did seem like an even game early on and even into the early mid-game, but after the first real engagement, after the first real collision between the forces of these two superpowers, there was only one player who was in the ascendancy, uh, and that was Flash, and he continued to dominate and take that game quite comfortably in the end, uh, just slowly but surely grinding Movie down, and Movie's got to have to pick himself back up here and have the confidence in himself, uh, otherwise he's going to find himself 2-0 down, uh, and then it will be a very long climb indeed, and that's why this game is almost a must-win game for Movie, even though it's a best-of-five series and he still has a chance. Uh, but to take three games in a row against Flash, I think, is a tall order right now for any player, uh, no matter how good they are. And uh, Movie certainly is going to find it a tall order as well um, in these OSL finals. Uh, Movie, once again, just to uh, reiterate if I haven't already said it, Movie at the 12 o'clock position here. Obviously, the Protoss player, Flash at the 4 o'clock position in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Obviously, the Terran player. And... Um, yeah, Flash, movie with it all to do. Uh, looks like he's just about getting ready to start his gateway uh, right now. And I just wonder what it is uh, about players who play against Flash. I wonder if it's just the season, if it's um, just his style of play that they find it intimidating, if it's the quality of the players. But it just seems to me that they don't have the stamina or the self-confidence to last out against him in a long game. They just seem to make mistakes and, and make bad decisions. And in the end, that ends up costing them. And I, I wonder what it was. I mean, we've seen it from Calm previously in Flash, having put that Rax down, not taking his gas. I wonder if he's looking to expand quickly here. Movie, meanwhile, taking the simulator, this time not uh, trying to send an early probot to do some kind of trick uh, to harass Flash. But I wonder what it is that, that makes players want to throw their units away against their opponents, and Flash still not taking the gas. So clearly he's uh, getting ready to take that expansion to fast expand. Movie with the one gateway build should be able to put some pressure on Flash should he choose to go for that fast expansion. Flash with his Rax. Looks like it's almost complete, and uh, watching dispassionate from the stands, I think that's Flash's mom. Could be wrong here, guys. Uh, could be Movie's mom, but I think it's actually Flash's mom uh, watching. And she's been here before. She's seen her son do so well, get so far, and yet not really been able to achieve the sort of heights that a player of his talent and caliber should be able to achieve. Meanwhile, Flash's SCV just getting thwarted for a second there by uh, the Zealot from Movie, but he manages to sneak through. That probe was coming in to block the ramp. But Flash manages to sneak through and get the scouting information. Cybernetics core going down for Movie, so Flash is going to know exactly what Movie is up to, uh, and he's going to be prepared for it. As it is, I'm sure, fast expanding, he was going to anticipate that anyway and uh, get his defenses in place. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, my nose is getting a little bit blocked. Uh, Flash now starting up his command center, so he, he is indeed fast expanding as we anticipated him to. Um, and Movie's going to have a chance here to put a little bit of pressure on him. This is a much more standard game. Flash now with the two reens just out in front of his natural expo, going to prevent that probe from getting too close, and now taking his... Um, extractor putting that sorry not putting that refinery down uh, and that probes not able to find a way through and getting pushed away from those reens three reens out now for flash um, KT roster fans uh, in the crowd looks like that is a bunker going down for flash as well just outside of his natural expo um, and his commands that are halfway finished but yeah I just wonder why players just waste their units why movie decided to do what he decided to do it just was poor game sense from him I felt and he's going to have to be a lot sharper if he's going to be able to beat Flash this time around now putting that robotics facility down remember of course last game he did go for that proxy build and that got scouted and that probably threw him off a little bit as well uh, this time obviously uh, he's probably going to go for those reavers uh, and try and, and, and try and harass Flash's economy and do some damage to it early on to negate uh, the advantage that Flash is trying to establish with his quick command center Flash now with that factory started up as well and it's going to be it's going to be critical here this, this harass for movie Flash now putting down the engineering bay as well well, again, having scouted Movie knows exactly what's coming. And Movie with the Citadel, so we might be seeing a DT drop here for Movie, putting that Citadel of Arun down, the robotics facility just about getting complete. Uh, so it looks like we might be seeing a DT drop here for Movie, and, and that's an interesting choice of strategy. I guess he feels that even though Flash is going to be able to put up turrets in both places, he's not going to have as much in terms of Movie now, just pushing down with the couple of Dragoons towards Flash's natural expo. He's, he just probably feels that perhaps Flash might not have enough units to defend both his main and his natural expo uh, from the DTs, and if he can get the DTs down quickly before Flash gets good turret cover on his base, he might be able to do uh, significant damage to Flash uh, and Flash's economy. Uh, managed to snipe that SCV there, that's just going to slow Flash down by a couple of seconds. Flash now blocking his front door with that Rax the moment he saw those goons. Flash though already has one factory up, Machine Shop going down for him, second factory coming down as well, and we are seeing Templar, we're seeing a robotic support bay as well as a Templar archives from Movie. I wonder what he's up to here guys. 
Um, usually you don't see that. Usually you see one or the other because by the time you get both going, it it it, it gives that your opponent that much more time to get their defenses set. And I wonder what movie's up to here. Perhaps he's changed his mind initially. He was going to go for the DTs, and then he decided, no, I'll go for uh, Reavers instead. Uh, or or uh, perhaps he's going to. Uh, try and meanwhile he's, he's getting a drop off here in Flash's base. He's got a Dragoon as well as two Zealots in pushing in and trying to prevent Flash from getting those turrets down because it looks like he might be following up with those DTs after all. Uh, and I, I guess it doesn't really matter whether he has DTs or Reavers getting those turrets down is going to be advantageous either way. He's got a couple of Zealots in the mix there. Flash defending well with his SCVs. He managed to trap a Zealot and take the Zealot down. The Zealot goes down. The two Dragoons maneuvering out. One of the Dragoons gets trapped. Movie just managed to maneuver it out, takes the Vulture down, the Vulture goes down for Flash. Movie looks like he's going to take another couple of Marines down, the Dragoon does die, so he's only down to one Dragoon. And he, now he's got the Reaver popping out, I thought he was going to be following up with the DTs, but it looks like he's gone for the Reaver uh, and supporting it with... Was that a DT as well, or was that a Zealot in that shuttle? I think that was a Zealot uh, and a Reaver. This is crazy. I mean, it's just it's just a question of gas as well. The amount of gas that's required to produce Reavers and DTs is a reason why uh, you don't really see this sort of build often. I don't really think we've seen any DTs, so it, it looks like movie, movie wastes a lot of gas on that Templar archives. And actually, there is a DT running down towards Flashes, so we're going to be seeing an attack, and that's certainly something that Flash is not going to be expecting. We're going to be seeing a two-pronged attack from movie, the Reaver followed by the DT, uh, and it be interesting. I mean, this could be clever here, using the Reaver to take down the turret, uh, falling up with the DT once the turret goes down, allowing the Reaver to absorb a couple of hits from the Sea Shank. Now that shuttle has come into play, he's going to probably try and drop within range of that turret and try and take it down. Looks like he's moving further south uh, from Flash. Flash has got a couple of Sea Shanks, a couple of Marines, and a couple of Vultures out chasing that towards his factory, stationing that shuttle towards his factory. He's moving. Looks like he's getting ready to drop. He drops the DT, uh, and now Flash is aware of the DTs. This is the first time he's seen them. He thought it was just Reavers that he was dealing with. Uh, Reaver shot goes off. That Reaver is actually able to hit Flash's SCVs and his SCV and that's going to hurt Flash because it's going to hurt his economy. Flash now not mining at his main. Flash trying to put a turret down. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Movie leaving the DT to, flish, to pick at Flash's machine shop. Uh, and that will hurt Flash and slow him down a lot. If he can take that machine shop down and prevent Flash from getting uh, any more siege tanks out for some time. Uh, now dropping the Reaver behind Flash's natural expo. A uh, Reaver shot going off. Uh, I wonder if that Reaver's going to get any kills. It gets a kill. Gets about four or five SCVs at least. Uh, meanwhile, that DT is going to take that machine shop down. That machine shop burning. And that's going to get definitely taken down uh, by... Movie Flash trying to build a turret there close to those two factories. Movie should plant that Reaver down uh, and take down that turret. I'm not sure why he's not doing that. He's just hovering there above his DT with that uh, shuttle. This is careless by Movie here. He, he's got to prevent Flash from getting that turret up because otherwise his, D his DT will be vulnerable and Flash will be able to retake his base. I wonder what Movie's doing. I'm pretty sure I didn't see that Reaver get destroyed uh, and now that DT does get taken out by Flash. Uh, movie just hovering there with that shuttle. Uh, he could have picked the Reaver up as well. I'm not sure what Movie was doing there. Careless micro mistake by Movie, I feel. He's now got his observer down as well. Uh, now bringing his shuttle back around Flash's, behind Flash's natural expo. Uh, doesn't look like he's going in for another pass right now. Looks like he's pulling out uh, from his attack. So I guess that Reaver must have been destroyed. There's no other reason that he wouldn't drop it with the DT. I just didn't see it. Another DT for Movie now just chasing Flash's unit. Flash setting a counter feeling that Movie has done uh, too much damage to him that he needs to push out uh, and that Movie might not have a strong army because Movie has committed himself to having uh, Reavers and DTs and that as a result he might not have a lot of ground units in Movie with only the three Dragoons. He does have I think three or four gateways up though. 